This video is on connection types for storage area networks. Storage area networks basically provide shared pools of storage devices to multiple servers. And each server can access this shared storage as if it were a drive that was directly attached. It provides improved application availability, better application performance, centralizes and consolidates resources while providing simple centralized management tools, and provides remote site data transfer and vaulting. A storage area network protocol is a type of connection that determines how devices and switches communicate with each other within a SAN fabric. A SAN can use one protocol or many, certain devices or multi-protocol routers and devices. Multi-protocol routers and devices provide improved scalability, security, and manageability. While there are many protocols for SAN, we're going to focus on three for Network Plus exam. Fiber channel, fiber channel over ethernet, and internet smart computer systems interface. Internet Small Computer System Interface is an ip based standard protocol for linking data storage devices over a network and transferring data by carrying small computer system interface commands over IP networks. It enables clients to use the same networking technology for storage, storage management, and data networks. And because it uses TCP IP, it is suited to run over almost any physical network. And then we have Fiber Channel Protocol. A protocol used on fiber channel networks, it provides higher throughput than a local area network. It's a gigabit speed network technology used for storage area networking, and it's the standard protocol for open systems. Then we have fiber channel over ethernet, which is a protocol to route fiber channel packets over ethernet. It can improve the flexibility and simplification of SAN infrastructure. It replaces dedicated switching solutions for LANs and SANs with a single device that can transfer both type of data, IP packets and storage data. These deployments are called converged networks.